Hello, and today we're going to cover our email signature add-on. First and foremost, you need to go to the add-on section at the bottom left-hand corner of your menu to be able to access the add-on. Once you see it, go ahead and click on the tile. Once it loads, we get a description page about this particular add-on. For the email signature, don't rely on printers, scanners, or postal workers any longer. Paper forms are a thing of a past with our new signature add-on. Let users quickly and securely sign documents within your application, saving time and money for your business and your customers. This is crop cross-platform compatibility. It's available for all of our platforms, whether or not it's native iOS, native Android, and our PWAs. It also allows your team to work faster and quicker and give you the ability to ditch the fax and hard copies to process documents. So in a lot of cases, this really solves uh, some major pain points for some businesses, which I really think that this add-on feature is probably one of the better ones. So let's take a look at some FAQs here. Um, these signature costs are currently $10 per month per app, and you can get as many licenses as you want. The only people that will see the signatures is the admin, and when you receive the signature uh, via the manage and transactions section of your application under the name of the form, you'll be able to download these as PDFs and you'll be able to see the signature as well as any fields that they filled out. In regards to the industries that this benefits, there's a number of industries that can utilize this feature very well. Um, and what I would say is that schools and law firms, uh, document delivery services, courier services are probably the top four in my mind. Um, I've had this used for like consent forms uh, for large festivals or county fairs. Um, you could use this in a number of ways, but schools make the most common sense as well as like courier and document services to be able to somebody sign to say, hey, I have it. Our signatures are SSL encrypted, which means that it has a secure sockets layer over it, which makes sure that that uh, signature cannot be used for anything else, which is really nice because knowing that security is there is probably the best part. With that being said, the easy way to add this to your feature is once you have the sign-ons added, um, you add it to your application. And once you add it to your app, once you're in the custom form section, you're going to see a little section called email signature. You're going to drag and drop that over to your form. And you notice this area right over here in the second screenshot called tap to sign. So once the user fills out the particular apps and note in this example, I'm going to hit tap to sign. It'll automatically turn my phone into landscape mode. And this allows me as the app user to be able to sign uh, the apps and note that I have for my particular student. Once I'm done, I hit done. I can even reset if I don't like my signature. Uh, and then it sends off and it sends off to my particular school. With that being said, the email signature add-on has a number of different facilities that it can be used in, and I think is actually one of our more stronger add-ons that you can use for your business. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, and today we're going to review our transactions page. The transactions page is where a number of different in-app transactions will actually appear for you to be able to export, edit, modify, or serve for your customers. Uh, the transactions page is going to show mailing list emails that are collected. It's going to show custom form responses that customers fill out. It's going to show food ordering merchandise, as well as reservations that are made. And this is a great area uh, to give your clients access to within your white label CMS. So that way they can see all the transactions that are happening within their app. They can uh, export the data for analytics. They can do a number of different things uh, for their business. So let's go and check it out. So I've already logged into my application for my partner dashboard. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to manage and I'm going to go to transactions. Transactions is going to have a couple subsections wherein it shows the different features that it can accommodate. You'll see in the mailing list, I don't have anybody who filled out a mailing list yet. Definitely want that to happen. I can automatically add all subscriber contacts to any of these six email services uh, that we provide for MailChimp, Eye Contact, Constant Contact, Campaign Monitor, Get Response, and Emma. So there's definitely some options here for you to gather emails and to get them into your marketing. If I look at the shop example, which is our merchandise feature, you're going to see here, it's going to show you how many recent orders and how many totals that you have. I can narrow the search, uh, whether or not it's by an ID number or a customer name. I can filter the order by types, by status, and whether or not they are paid. 
I can also go to a particular date and see how many orders I had on that date, which is really nice. And depending on the data that I have, uh, once I select the tier that I have, I can go to export and I have three different options, CSV, XML and RSS, which are all different types of feeds for you to be able to see your data. And you'll see it's the selected or total options. Selected means it's whatever you filtered on or total means everything from start to finish. In regards to what I can see uh, for each transaction, it completely depends on what's been filled out. So on this one, I'll see I had a trucker hat that was purchased and there was a sales tax paid and the client has paid zero. So that means they owe me $38.06 when they come pick up, which is what their option is. Uh, for this particular order. And you'll see here's the pickup information. Um, and you'll see that's an unserved. So this can all be modified if I hit the edit button. Um, I can see the items that are ordered. I can even uh, dive in and see any additional notes that have been made um, by the client. I can even modify things on my end. If I go back to this edit page, I can even see the customer information too. And I can fill that in um, a little bit further once I have it. And I can change this to served and paid. And this was pick up at the shop and I'm gonna hit save. And you'll see this order instantly change right before your eyes. And you'll see the order ID stays the same. So this is where you can track your orders, everything. Uh, the same will be for the food ordering feature, which isn't in this demo, but it's the same exact concept. And then you also see reservations. Again, upcoming appointments, how many appointments this week, what you have today in terms of appointments. I'll be able to go in here and edit customer information or appointment information. I can also add appointment information as needed from this transactions page. So this transactions page, again, is super versatile for your application and for your business's app. Um, and in that respect, thank you so much for watching today.